Hello Coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing on two interesting updates. Starting with Felipe Coutinho, as recent reports are saying that Premier League club Aston Villa are currently in talks to sign Felipe Coutinho this month on loan. We are going to be discussing much on that as we move ahead. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about Samuel Umtiti as reports are claiming that Newcastle are looking at Umtiti as an alternative to Botman. We are going to be discussing much on that as well. So guys, as we get right into it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. In an interesting turn of events, it seems Felipe Coutinho's time at Barcelona might finally be coming to an end. The Brazilian has reportedly accepted the fact that he will not have a leading role in the team which heavily jeopardizes his chances to play at the World Cup 2022 with Brazil. You know, he has been rumored with a move back to the Premier League, with Everton, Tottenham and Arsenal interested. However, these links took a sharp right today as, of course, reports are saying that, you know, Aston Villa have entered in talks to sign Coutinho on a six-month loan. Villa manager Stephen Gerrard played with Coutinho at Liverpool for two years and is said to be fond of the midfielder. In his fourth year as a Barca player now, Coutinho has not done enough to warrant a place in the team, especially ahead of the likes of Gavi, Nico Gonzalez, Frankie de Jong or Pedri. Barcelona are desperately trying to reduce their wage bill in an attempt to sign and register players. Ferran Torres was signed from Manchester City for you know, 55 million euros, but his registration with the senior team is still pending. So, offloading Coutinho, who is reportedly the highest earner in the team currently, you know, will really, really help to create a lot of wage room for Juan Laporta and co. Then on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona continue to face problems in their effort to offload injury-prone defender Samuel Umtiti. The Frenchman has been long out of favor at the Camp Nou, given his injury issues and struggles when given a chance to play. Barca had made several attempts to offload Umtiti during the summer but were unable to find suitors, while the defender convinced Laporta to give him another chance. However, things have not improved since and with Umtiti struggling just once all season and playing just one game, you know, the Catalans are again trying to get the defender off the books but have had little luck. There had been interest from Fenerbahce but Umtiti turned them down as he wants a move to a competitive team with a better sporting project. Now though, Sport is reporting that Premier League outfit Newcastle United have emerged as a potential destination for Mtiti. The Magpies are in the market for defensive reinforcements as they look to push away from the threat of relegation from the Premier League. A move for Steven Botman of um, Lille you know, was believed to be a priority for the tennis side outfit but that is off the table now as negotiations with the league and champions broke down. As a result, they have now identified Umtiti as an alternative for the Dutchman and are ready to sign him in the ongoing transfer window. Barcelona are open to working out a deal for the ex-Olympic Lyon star, but the report states that defender would only consider a loan exit as he wishes to return to the Camp Nou in the summer. Newcastle would be open to covering half of his salary for the second half of the season which is certainly of appeal to Barca as they look to make cuts to their wage bill. So guys, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.